In Jakarta, the search for answers to what brought down a Sukhoi demonstration flight takes investigators to air traffic control. So, can you tell me what happened? Well, they were just supposed to do a 30-minute loop. Then before I knew it, they had disappeared from radar. So what did they end up at Mount Selak? I don't know. But weren't you supposed to be monitoring them? I was so busy, I lost track of the plane. Investigators learned that the controller had an exceptionally heavy workload. He was monitoring about a dozen flights. EY-7136 cleared to land. JT-792, continue approach to runway 24. Making matters worse, both his assistant and his supervisor were absent that shift. He was doing three jobs. Why did you clear them to fly at 6,000 feet? You must have known they would never clear the mountain. My system said it was a military jet. Investigators discover that the airport status system had incorrectly labeled the plane as SU-30, which identifies it as a Sukhoi military aircraft. Military can fly pretty much as low as they want. Jakarta Control, Sukhoi 36801, requesting descent at 6,000. When the pilots requested a descent, the controller assumed they were heading for a military training area in Bogor, right along the Sukhoi's flight path. Sukhoi 36801, cleared to 6,000 feet. EY-7136, cleared to land. JT-792, continue approach to runway 24. The ATC thought that it was a military aircraft flying in a military airspace, so 6,000 is not a concern for them. But I still don't understand, why was the plane so far off course? That's a good question. I really don't know.